What is up, guys? Uh, once again, I am Drew with Comic Sleep, and we got some breaking news. Well, breaking news as of yesterday. So uh, we're going to go to a website called uh, Bleeding Stool. Oh, I'm sorry, Bleeding Fool. But uh, please ensure, if you go to this website, make sure your computer has had its uh, its shots, penicillin shots, that it's all clean and ready to go. Because uh, this site is vicious. So here we go. Print Watch. Stray Dogs and Barbaric go back to print. So if you remember, dear listeners and viewers, Kyle and I brought up a uh, barbaric on our uh, FOC list and how uh, it has blown up in his vault's highest selling comic ever to this point. So barbaric goes back to a second printing from vault comics. 35,000 copies are just not enough. Not only that, but vault will be publishing two deluxe black and white editions of barbaric number one. And Tim Seeley black bag variant covers for, bar for Barbaric number two and three. No visuals yet on these. So what does this tell me? This tells me that Barbaric is going to be huge. As a former uh, president would say, this is unbelievably huge. If you were to invest in a comic that has not come out yet, that is going to be huge, I suggest Barbaric number one and possibly two and three. This is not a fluke, guys. Uh, this is huge news. And uh, while we're on the subject subject of printings, uh, Trish Forstner, artist of uh, Stray Dogs, who we will be interviewing tomorrow, Kyle and I, uh, every issue of the series so far has sold out at the distributor level. Images rushing all four issues back to print in order to keep up with demand. This is insane. This is one of the hugest hits currently from image comics this was a, this was a sleeper hit no one saw this coming so if you were to invest in another series guys stray dogs is one of them um we've done a lot of these uh horror movie homage covers like right here from the thing which is terrific and uh looks like they're also doing a free comic book day edition of stray dogs available on august 14th remember that day august 14th stray dogs free comic book day it will feature a brand new prologue, that doggy in the window. Ooh. The unnerving story of the very first dog to ever come to the master's house. Perfect. If there is, uh, I was going to talk to Trish about this before I read this article. I would love to read a prequel about this guy. Here we go, right here, August 14th. We get the prequel of the master. That is fantastic. Uh, guys, this is a huge hit. Both of these. Barbaric, it's not even out yet. Get your hands on a copy of, a copy of one of these. And uh, Stray Dogs, find any of these that you can. This is crazy. So these are the upcoming uh, horror movie covers that they've done. There's Evil Dead. There's, um, oh, uh, ah, I forget what it's called. Crap. It's one of the newer ones. And Psycho. I love this cover right here. Stray Dogs 4 for Psycho Homage cover. So, guys, um, these, uh, these two series right now are going to be huge. Guarantee it. Barbaric, number one. Stray Dogs, one through four. Find them if you can, guys. I'm sure if you talk to Ernie, if you're nice, he may be able to find them somewhere. He's got, I know he's got some squirreled away. Tell him Drew sent you. Tell him get those copies out of hiding. He's got them. He's hit, he's hiding them. And uh, so, guys, uh, that's it. Uh, to wrap this up. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. It's down there somewhere, usually, mostly. And uh, stay, uh, so tune in tomorrow afternoon for Kyle and I to when we introduce. And uh, on our first interview, Trish Forstner. It should be amazing. It should be fun. It's going to be awesome. And uh, until next time, guys, you.